Oi, everybody! Juliana here. Welcome back to Bake Cook Travel. Today we'll be making another classic, meatloaf and creamy mashed potatoes. This is comfort food at its best. Super delicious, super cozy, and so easy. Anyone can make it. So, let's cook! Into a large bowl, add two pounds of ground beef. I'm using extra lean. Spread the meat all over the bowl, so you will be able to blend the other ingredients easily. Grate two small yellow onions or one medium. You can dice the onions very small if you don't want to grate. I know it's a little annoying to do, but this way helps your onion blend better and gives you more flavor. Smash four garlics using a garlic smasher. If you don't have one, you can cut it with a knife into very small dices. Now it's time for some herbs. Peel some fresh thyme, about 5 grams around 12 stalks. Add 2 teaspoons of black pepper, 2 teaspoons of kosher salt, 2 tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Oops, this one is hard to say. Into a separate small bowl, whisk 2 eggs and add them. I like to add olive oil into my meatloaf recipe. I think it gives a nice extra flavor and also helps with the moisture. Add 4 teaspoons. Into the same small bowl, mix 2 cups of panko, or breadcrumbs, with 8 tablespoons of whole milk. Add them to everything else. Now, using your hand, if you want to use some gloves, it's up to you. Mix everything together until very well combined. The mixture should become homogeneous, and then you know it's good. Using a loaf pan covered with plastic wrap, add the meatloaf mixture, pressing it down to make it as even as possible. Make sure you pull out the plastic wrap. I like to add some cheddar cheese stuffed in the center. It's totally up to you, but why not? Cheese makes almost everything better. On a tray of foil on the bottle, flip over the meatloaf from the loaf pan. Make sure the loaf is all even. If you need to use your hands to help shape, that's fine. Bake for an initial 15 minutes at 375 Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, you can make your glaze. Whisk into a small bowl one third cup of ketchup, one tablespoon of brown sugar, two teaspoons of mustard powder, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Whisk very well until well combined. So, after 15 minutes of baking, and when you get a nice brown color on the outside, take the loaf from the oven and brush the glaze all over it. The glaze also helps to keep the meat loaf moist and gives a very nice sweet and tangy flavor to it. Put it back into the oven, bring the temperature to 350 Fahrenheit. You will make it one more time before finish cooking. Don't forget to turn it at the halfway mark to cook all the sides evenly. And bake it until you get an internal temperature of 155 to 160 Fahrenheit. It's about 25 minutes more. Now it's time for you to drop a like if you're enjoying this video. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here for more amazing delicious recipes. For the mashed potatoes, I'm using yellow yucum potatoes, about 2 pounds. 
peel and cut them into as similar pieces as possible so they will cook evenly. Add them into cold water with salt. Bring it to a boil and cook until soft. So, I use just an old school potato masher. It works well for me. You can also use a potato ricer, which is very good. After giving them a good mash, to start, add one cut a cup of butter, three cut a cup of milk, mash a little more and add 200 grams of cream cheese. Keep going and season with salt and pepper as you like. When your loaf is in the oven, you can add some garlic into a piece of foil and bake it at the same time, about 30 minutes. Then you have nicely roasted garlic for your mashed potatoes. Add into your pot using a garlic smash as well and stirring nicely. I like to add about 3, as it gives a very nice roasted garlic taste. So at this point, the meatloaf is ready. The glaze should be shiny and nicely caramelized. Take the loaf from the oven and cover it with some foil about 10 minutes before cutting. And then slice it as you like. It should be moist and very juicy inside. I will cut both sides so you can see with and without the cheese. Serve with potatoes on the base, a slice of meatloaf on the top, some beef gravy and peas. You can make extra glaze and cook on the stove, so you can add more on top. This is one of my favorite comfort food recipes. You have that nice moist meatloaf piece. A smooth and creamy mash with notes of cheese. The gravy and peas just give it an extra touch, making it even better. I hope you like this dish and try it at home. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like here. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe here. On Bake Cook Travel, we always bring the best food adventures and food recipes. If you'd like to see more food recipes, click here. And for more food adventures, click here. See you in the next video.